good morning to everyone today we will see the concept of the linked list before getting into the linked list first we will see the limitations of an array everyone knows that an array is a uh, data type is a data type where we can store the single data type issues like a of 10 means int a of 10 which means that here we are going to allocate the integer data type for the 10 elements like how many bytes will be allocated means 40 bytes will be allocated to that particular variable a and that too the memory is very continuous that is called as an array so first we will see the limitations of an array then we will get into the linked list here the first concept of the limitations of an array will, array will be the fixed size what is this fixed size means once an array is declared its size cannot be changed dynamically like if I declared a of 5 which means that I can enter only up to certain limit after 5 elements if I want to enter the 6 element it is not possible why because array is a fixed size an element it is a static memory allocation I cannot change it whenever I require it and the second one here is memory is allocated at the compile time the memory is allocated at the compile time itself is called as a static memory allocation so before I start uh, doing the execution, if I say A of 10, 10 into 440 bytes will be allocated. That is called static memory allocation and which leads to here either the wastage. If allocated is too large, I just need to enter only one element but I said A of 10, remaining 9 elements data will be wasted or else if I just say A of 5 and now I want to enter the 9th element or the 10th element, it is not possible in sufficient space. This is the first limitation of an array and the second limitation here is contiguous memory requirement. What is this contiguous memory requirement means I need to allocate the memory continuously. There should be no gap between the elements that is called as a contiguous memory uh, requirement. If array require memory to be allocated in a continuous block array requires that one I cannot require the first five elements in one space or five other five elements in the other space I cannot do that if I want to allocate the memory for a of 10 means I need to start from 0 to 9 that is called as a contiguous memory allocation even if enough contiguous memory is not available allocation may fail even if sufficient memory is free in the fragments like uh, in my memory in my system I have the space like if I require the 80 bytes 40 bytes is in one particular block other than 40 is in another block totally 80 bytes of free space is available but still I cannot allocate to the array why because an array requires a contiguous memory that's why we cannot allocate for the memory this is the second limitation the first limitation was about the fixed size which means that it is a static memory allocation I cannot increase whenever I require that is the first limitation and the second one here is about the contiguous memory allocation which means that even if I have the free space I cannot allocate it why because array requires a continuous this is a one of the next limitation the next one is insertion and deletion complexity what is this insertion and deletion complexity uh, of an array means for example if I want to insert an element at the beginning or at the any certain position I need to shift the complete elements which leads to the worst case time complexity that is the one more disadvantage in the array in a dynamic scenarios where frequent insertions or deletions are needed link the list are preferable if I want to change the element uh, like dynamically at that time we have to go for the concept called as a linked list First, we are discussing about the limitations of an array and these limitations can overcome by using the linked list. So, up to here, we have just discussed about the limitations of an array and what are the disadvantages here we have seen is a first one is a fixed size that is called as a static memory allocation that is one of the problem in an array and the second one is a contiguous memory allocation which means that uh, I need to allocate the memory continuously even if the free space is available somewhere like in the middle of the somewhere I cannot allocate it why because an array requires contiguous I cannot go with the another option that is a second disadvantage and the third one is insertion or a deletion is a very complex when it comes to an array why because if I want to insert or a delete an element at the beginning or at the any position I need to shift the complete elements to the back then only I can either insert or the delete the elements that is one of the another disadvantage in the array now all these things can be overcome by using an array now we will get into a linked list those limitations can be overcome by using the 
linked list first we will see the structure of the linked list this is a structure of the linked list now if you observe this structure you can see that there is a header pointer and these are called as the elements or the nodes every node consists of the two fields one is the information field the other one is the data field the first part is the info info means i can store the actual data in that particular type and the second one is called as a link link is a pointer where it is going to provide the address of the next sequential element and even from here to here like the address of this one is 100 the address of the second element node is 200 now the address of the second element will be stored in the link of the first element now when it comes to this two again this e, uh, node even have the two fields one is the information field the other one is a link field information field will have the value whereas a link field will have the address of the next sequential element now here we have the 300 the address of the next element that address will be stored in the previous node link like this and 300 for example in a linked list we have the contiguous uh, we have the continuous elements and those elements those nodes are linked with the address one address is at the 100 the another uh, element is at the address 200 the another data is at the 300 address they are at storing at the different location whereas in an array it was not possible for me to store all the elements wherever I want but in a linked list you can insert the elements wherever you want but you can connect from one element to the another element by using link this link will have the address of the next node like this we are going to continue and because of this link the linked list is going to look like a chain like structure and one more important point in the linked list here is every single linked list or any linked list is going to start with the header pointer and this header pointer is going to have the address of the first element like here we have the first data element in the address 100 so the header pointer will have the value of the 100 what do you mean by pointer the pointer means it is having some value but it is not actually value it shows the address where the value is stored here also the header is a pointer it consists of one address where the first element is there in the linked list and in the same way the linked list last element will have the value link value will be null which indicates that the linked list ends here this is the structure of the linked list so what is the linked list here means the first cup now uh, what is the first disadvantage we have discussed in an array uh, it needs a fixed size of an array and the second one is a contiguous memory allocation now if you observe this one we have allocated the first element in the address 100 the next element is stored at the address 200 and the third one is stored at the 300 in between there can be multiple values but we are not worried about that one and after first element directly I should go to the second element how it is possible because of this link pointer link pointer now every node first we need to discuss about the node here every node consists of the two fields first one is the information field the second one is a link field in the information field we are going to store the actual data in the link field we are going to store the address where the next sequential node is stored like this it continues and third point you need to remember is head pointer and this head pointer will have the address of the first element in the linked list and in the same way in a linked list the last element link address will have the null value which indicates that in this linked list these elements up to here it is ended this is about the structure of the linked list now we will see all these points in a detail now a linked list is a data structure which can change during execution which can change during an execution which means that in an array the first disadvantage was the static memory allocation if i say a of 10 definitely the 10 bytes will be allocated to that particular variable but here 
in a linked list it is a dynamic memory allocation we are going to use a keyword called as a malloc at the time of coding if you use a malloc what will happen means it will allocate the memory dynamically here also at every variable i am going to call that function i am going to call that particular create node function in that create node function the memory will be allocated dynamically a linked list is a data structure which can be changed during execution if i want to enter only three elements only those three elements memory will be created now again if i am interested in creating a fourth element then i can go for the fourth option also there is no restriction on that one unlike arrays the next one is successive elements are connected by the pointers here we are not storing the data in a contiguous memory they are stored in somewhere like it is stored in the address 100 it is stored in the 200 it is stored in the 300 if you observe this one but they are in a continuous format how they are looking like a chain like structure means because of this link pointers successive elements are connected by the pointers this is the second point you need to remember the next one is last element points to the null this is the last element here and the in the last element the link node is going is pointing to the null next it can grow or shrink in size during the execution of a program as we have discussed that linked is a dynamic memory allocation if i want to increase the size of the elements i can do that one during the execution or else if i want to reduce only to the particular few elements then i can do that why because linked list is a dynamic memory allocation these are the advantages of the linked list what are the things we can do in the linked list over an array these are the points the next one it can be made just as long as required the same thing as that of the group it does not waste memory space why because there is no uh, no need to decide before itself whenever i want it i will allocate the memory this prevents the wastage of the memory space next each node contains a value and a pointer to the next node in the list you need to describe about the node each node will have the information field and the link field information will field will have the data and the link field will have the address of the next sequential element header pointer points to the first node in the list as already we have discussed this one the first header point is going to have the address of the first element and in the same way the last element node will have the address null which uh, indicates that that is the ending point a null pointer is used to mark the end of the linked list. This one will be marked as a null to indicate that the list is ended here. Next, we are going to see how the node is created and how we are going to implement this linked list. The node is defined as a structure. What do you mean by structure here means struct is a keyword which will help you to wrap the different data types together. Now, if I say integer a of 10 integer a of 10 means it is an array of a single data type with the value integer domain type will be integer but now we are talking about the linked list in the linked list it is a combination of the different data types that's why we have to go with the concept called as a struct struct means it will have the combination of the different data types and for this struct we are going to provide the name as a node it can be anything you can give whatever the uh, name you want to give like a capital n or the small n or a simple x whatever the value you want to give you just give it here the node represents the name of this particular block now in the previous uh, slide we have seen that a node consists of the two wheels uh, two fields first one is a data the second one is a link data means integer data type so here we are going to declare int data the first field is of the data and the second field is about the link where we are going to store the address of the next sequential element now how we have to declare that one means struct node pointer next now if i just say int pointer a which means that a is having the address of the where the next value is stored where the actual value is stored that is called as a pointer but if you observe here we are not directly saying int pointer next what we are saying means we are saying struct node pointer next this line is called as a self-referential pointer the next 
variable is having the address of the next node address next node which means that that is also a block of memory where the it consists of the two fields similar type of the node this is one node and in the next i'm going to store the address of the next node that is not where the da actual data is stored it stores the address of the next node that's why it is called as a self referential pointer or we have to declare that one means struct to node pointer next and after that you can keep the semicolon here itself and then you can write pointer head equal to null again we are going to uh, create a one more pointer head there equal to null why because the linked list starts with the head pointer initial it can be null this is a syntax for the struct node now with this one what we are going to do means we are going to create an element with the two data types the first data type is about the int data and the second one is about the struct node pointer next where it is going to store the address of the next element this is a int data type and this is a address so in order to get the element like this first i need to declare the data type how we have to declare that in day of 10 directly bytes will be allocated now my node consists of the two wheels how can i declare that one means by using the keyword called as a struct so you need to know the definition what is a struct here struct can have the combination of the different data types together according to our need in the linked list we require the two fields that's why we are declaring int data and struct to node pointer next this is about the implementation of the node this is about the implementation of a struct node the next one is how we have to create a node uh, in a code how we have to write the line means a new node is created first with the desired variable name till now we have seen in the c int a int b int c which means that there is a variable name of the integer data type now if i want to create a new node how can i declare that one means by using struct node pointer new node in this way i can create a new node whenever i want to insert a new element first of all i need to declare a new node and how i have to declare that new node means by using a keyword struct node pointer new node if you observe here for this block we have given the name as a node struct node in the so whenever you want to create a new element first of all you need to call that block here that's why struct node pointer new node we will call this new node for now next the data stored in this node can be accessed by using the arrow character like already we have discussed that a new node when you are creating a new node uh, that new node will have the two fields the first one is of the data field the other one is having the next field these are the two different fields now if i want to access this particular data in a new node if i want to access this particular data how can i do that one means by using this symbol character symbol minus greater than symbol new node data means i'm talking about this particular field now similarly the link to the next node in the list can be accessed by using the arrow character pointer next new node next means we are going to discuss about this one as this is a pointer it says about the address of the next element this is how we have to represent in the coding